<laughs> and now, the epilogue. I hope. I think I see him. Hey, Brandon! Wait up! I'm carrying someone on my back! Ashikara, you don't have to carry me anymore, you know? I can walk on my own now. Are we finally there? I thought you were talking out of your ass, but you're pretty good after all. Pikatoshi! Thank you so much! Oh, <laughs> well, I guess that's a compliment for Mikitoshi. Huh? I'm not trying to be nice or anything. Don't get so worked up. You're all too late! We already won first place! I mean, you better have. That's why we let you go ahead. There shouldn't even be a first or second place in a situation like this. I'm surprised you boast about it like that. WHAT DID YOU JUST SAY?! Would you cease your fighting? I implore you to stop and take a look at the beautiful landscape around you. Yes, you like Chernobog. No! Oh, wow! You are joking! There were cherry blossoms back on you know how to talk, eh, but... This is the first time I've seen seen this many! This is captivating! It's so beautiful, Chernobyl. I would surely never been a be able to see this back in the ball now. It's thanks to both your bravery and your blade that I came to know ever more beauty in this world. You truly are a hero, after all. Wow! There are even more cherry blossoms than at Ueno Park! I think I know- I think I now know why you chose this mountain, Zano. Even if they lost, anyone would be happy to see this view. That was a great choice. Like cherry blossoms, Gunza? Uh, um, uh, of course I do. I love them. <laughs> I love. <laughs> it's not what you think. I was just thinking that you look really nice surrounded by all these cherry blossoms. <laughs> The teens haven't caught up yet. I figured everyone would catch up quickly once we undid the collision. But... Wow, look at that, Ikutoshi! The cherry blossoms are blowing in the wind! I didn't know there were places like this! I feel as though my horizons have been expanded by coming here! Hey, don't get so worked up. We'll start a forest fire. Feeling like Nikitoshi? I don't know. I mean, I feel like I didn't really have any time to reflect on myself. I won't even walk away with first place, and I lost again to you. you. <laughs> it's kind of nice up here, though. Mountain climbing isn't too bad after all. Hey, I think this is the peak. Everyone, we reached the goal! We did it! We made it! Hooray! Check out those cherry blossoms! Hey, wait. We aren't the first ones here? I shouldn't be surprised. You thought we're going so fast. You were so far ahead. We, you were so far ahead. We thought we must have gone off the wrong path. Off on the wrong path or something. 
It's only been an hour, but no matter how fast we went, we just couldn't keep up with you. Huh? It's been a whole night, not an hour! Right? I suppose we went through another world along the way. It figures that time would flow differently in each world. We have indeed been on a completely alien mountain from the moment that your wish was granted, so. Are you sure you weren't all heading down the mountain? I was sure some of you wouldn't make it to the peak. Yeah, well, everyone else wanted so badly to reach the peak. We knew we couldn't get the first place prize if we arrived after you, but we wanted to see what it felt like to reach the peak. That's why we took a little break and then followed in your tracks. That's, that's been tough, eh, Baraki? Are you making fun of me? Even if I'm not all that strong, something like this couldn't wear me out. I mean, thanks, though. I guess you did pretty good, too. Is that about it, then? You sure lost a lot of competitors, huh? It follows. We had anticipated a simple climb, yet the way... Yet the way it turned out quite treacherous. We all met a ton of pro we all <clears throat> we all met a ton of problems. Nobody got off scot free in that sense, but what's gonna happen with the tournaments Al? Are we gonna assign going to assign places? Well I suppose everyone did go through a lot to get here. Erga promised to share a reward with the Yoyogi Academy team and Ikitoshi, but I guess the other teams deserve something too. This ended up being a very different experience than we promised. Also, seeing as I was partially to blame for the problems we encountered, I feel obligated to make it up to everyone. Are you trying to say that you're voiding the result of the tournament? That would mean that our victory is... No, we can consider it the tournament settled. We all face various challenges to get here, regardless of the level. However, I don't think it'd be fair if we just took and we just took and then shared the prize. I just I don't know. I think we may as well give a prize to everyone who made it all the way up to here to the peak. I want to reward everyone for their hard work. That probably means that everyone's share will be trivial, but I'll talk to the dwarf and get cheated. I don't really care about places or rewards or anything, so of course I'm okay with this, but what about you all? That's fine with me! As long as I get the first place flag, I'll be happy! I am agreed. We all climb this mountain together. That is a gift in and of itself. So what you're saying is, we're all getting a year supply of protein shakes? I mean, there should have there should have been plenty set aside, but I don't think a year's worth per contestant is possible. It should work out better than splitting one single reward between everyone. I think that sounds great. We should do that. I think that sounds great too. Now everyone. May I have your may I have your attention? As a tournament organizer, I would like to announce that you all get a share of What do you think you're doing? Whoa, where'd you come from? I've been standing here the whole time. I've been waiting here since before all the teams started arriving. I repeat, what do you think you're doing? What's all this talk of everyone getting a prize? Uh oh. <laughs> but, but, as the primary organizer, I. Um. <laughs> You're just a co host! I'm the primary organizer, and I choose what happens with the prizes! <laughs> I 
Now that the competition is finished, the winning team and only the winning team will receive their reward. A year's worth of protein shakes for the team of four. Second place will receive a set of workout gear. We did prepare a lot in case the team with a lot of members won, but I'm planning on selling the leftover product to make sure that the book make sure that the books balance out. You know what would happen if I just gave it all away to everyone here? I'd be ruined! You'd be such a screw! Would one? Would one grand display of generosity kill you? You, the answer may surprise you. Read my lips! Again? Oh, no! I'm not running a charity here! Okay. Uh, looks like you finally started to gain an appreciation for money. However, that still doesn't mean you can decide who gets what. I don't you don't want your prizes, then nobody will get them. What? You can't do that! And Barry, are you really gonna disgrace your fellow organizers like that? If you try and take back what Zell told everyone just now, you'll have even bigger. You'll have an even bigger problem on your hands. Yeah, I already called everyone in my baseball team and told them that I'd be going home with a prize. Uh -oh. No! Come on! Why am I the bad guy all of a sudden? I'm sorry. I just went ahead and said all of that to everyone without talking to you first. Is there nothing I can do to change your mind? I don't want anyone to leave this tournament. No, I don't want anyone to leave this beautiful place with a bad taste in their mouth. It's not right for everyone to leave empty-handed. Now, just look here, Mr. Ugh! I never should have partnered with someone with no head for coin. Ah, I swear, if I let it in like this, my reputation will go up in flames. Oh, whatever. We'll just go ahead and give all the protein shakes to everyone gathered here. Happy? Whoever snatches the workout gear first gets it. Come get it, you vultures. So, we get prizes too. So, we get prizes too. Hell yeah! We did it! Our hard work's getting our hard work getting here really paid off. Wow, I can't believe it. That was pretty generous. So <laughs> Let's go, Cuba! Quick, before all the workout gear is taken. Yeah, I want to grab a bunch of expanders for you. Well, thank you for all, thank you for following through with my promise. You, I'm gonna work you to the bone and recoup what I lost on this tournament. That's only fair. Tuda. Oh god. <laughs> Tuda. No. You say. Whoa. Hold your horses. I'm saying he'll need to work part time for me. Nothing weird about that. <laughs> I could, I'm sorry. I could not resist that. You're on the same team, so you better believe you'll both be working your butts off once we're off this mountain. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Wait, what? Mm -hmm. This is truly breathtaking. It always makes me lament the idea of returning home. You can say that again! It makes me want to have a picnic! <laughs> I thought you'd say that. Let's have one. Huh? Can we? We need blankets, though. Of course we can. 
We brought some picnic gear along just in case. Since we climbed all the way up here, how does a picnic sound to you? That would be awesome! Wouldn't it, Chernobog? A picnic? A banquet in which you are enveloped in the loving embrace of nature, correct? That sounds... nice. That settles it! I'll go check with Shooting and the others! Does this mean you have been carrying gear for a picnic? Your bags are also stuffed with emergency gear as well. Don't underestimate me. Let's get ready. I brought blankets, drinks, snacks. Look, I even packed some lunches. How'd you cram all that in? This sack's freaking huge. Who do you take me for, Brick? I'm a man who needs to spread the seed of love for the mountains. Oh, God. I... M. Shinjuku Academy's Mountaineering Club President, Zhao Gonkin. Hey, Zhao, would it be alright if I came mountain climbing with you again sometime? I know we go to different schools, and I'm actually on the track team, but I think it'd be good training, and... You had fun? Yeah, I had a lot of fun! What do you say? What do you say, Turtlebog? Brandon? Sounds nice, huh, Chernobog? Yeah. I will teach Durga everything that Zal taught me. Which is mine. I will gladly pass the joy of mountain climbing on to those from other schools. Welcome to the Shinjuku Academy Mountaineering Club, Durga! Durga, second year at Yogi Academy, wins the 100 meter dash of the decathlon! Let's not forget, folks, this is a relentless competition where athletes are ranked by their total scores across 10 different events over two days. Durga's win is going to be very advantageous since the 100 meter dash is the very first event of this competition. First place on the first day! First place in the first event! Yeah! I did it! I'm number one! Looks like you won first again! Congratulations! Thanks! You did really well yourself! Huh? Thank you? That was close though! I thought it'd be further ahead! I hope you'll train hard for the next time, because I plan on taking first place again! Of course I will! Next time, you'll be eating my dust! <laughs> I'm looking forward to our next race! What's up with her? Why'd she say that? I overheard it too, but I don't know what she's up to. It's really weird. I've got a bad feeling about this. On the other hand, she seems kind of nice. Alright, time to win the next event. I'll show everyone the results of my training in the mountains. I promise you, I will be number one. Yeah, and that's it. <laughs>